down here in the vineyard, foggy morning, about, that's right around 8 o'clock. What I want to do is take a walk through down one entire row. This is row E. And do an assessment of what the vines look like. They're still very young. They've been thinned already. But I have famosas. And I got some nasty looking uh, damage to the vine. I think they, they call this leaf shot. I've never had Fomosis before, so it really sucks. I've sprayed this with uh, Captain already, but it rained the next day, so I have to get in here and spray again. I mean, some of these look just fine, like in here. These look pretty good, but I, I have to get back in here and spray again, or... I guess this stuff will come back with a vengeance. Yeah, they call it leaf shot for a reason. It gives, can put holes in the leaves, which can be mistaken for insect damage, but I haven't seen any insects since the grape flea beetle earlier, and they didn't cause this. So I can look back at this video a little bit later and hopefully see improvement. All I got to do is count the, count the line posts if I want to count the line post and then the, uh, the stakes if I want to get my location. That was the first line post. See, some of these don't look too bad. I'm still unsure if I'm going to allow a crop this year. The guideline from the vineyard, or from the nursery, where the original vines in the other rows came from, says to uh, pull the fruit this year. This, this would be the second year it says to pull the fruit and allow it to uh, develop the cordons and the, the spurs these these will wind up being the spurs so i might do that i don't know i i really don't have time and the equipment at the moment See, the, these two will be the new cordon for here. I don't have the time or the equipment to do a harvest, but I, I suppose I could just buy some lugs and uh, hopefully sell it to the local, the local winery, which does do um, cold hardy varieties. So some of this looks pretty damn good, but it has areas where it's really bad. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like this, this is pretty bad. I just seen a, a video on shoot thinning on YouTube where he was doing shoot thinning and he said whenever you find one of these just yank them off and he yanked it off which may be good good advice see the newer ones don't have it and i mean it might be dead the famosus might be dead on this one but there's no real reason to leave it there other than energy for the vine but it will you know it'll it'll make plenty more leaves pretty quickly because it's just been thinned. It has plenty of strength. It has a two-year-old trunk. For the most part, most of these have a two-year-old trunk and root system. So they have plenty of reserve. 
Now see, that looks pretty lousy. But then we have a nice big leave right behind it and big leaves coming up on top. This one has a lot of the wrinkly, dried out famosus look. And I'm pretty sure I got the um, ID right on the disease, but you know, this this would be the first time it got this, but we had a really weird spring that where winter just went on and on forever. So that may have been what caused this. Once I get to the end of the row, which I have four more vines, I'm going to try to take a quick peek at there's a vine right in the woods here i can't remember if i killed it last year the the close proximity vines you really don't want them because they can be a disease vector and i had planned on killing it but i don't believe i i did yet this this one is terrible this is the second second last vine in the row and it's uh this is its second year you can see there was uh one two three four vines planted here last year that uh from ones that died there was uh walnut trees right up to here the the forest two years ago went to right here. You, uh, I don't know if you can see a line anymore, not at least not on this, but uh, right up through here was the line of the forest. I, I cleared this area last year and uh, everything was cut down to the stump. Those, those trees right there got to go as well. I just ran out of time because we <laughs> we cleared across the street and I had to get to that for the horses oh I forgot the last one last vine okay I'll start right here though this is the second last vine and it looks like I think the technical word is shit it looks like shit as does this one. I mean, that's terrible. The last spray uh, used up all of my captain, so I need to get in here today and spray with something. I'd like to let this dry out, but the only thing I have to spray with is Mancozeb, which which would be a good one to spray with but I don't want to spray while it's this wet. And I am, you wouldn't be able to see it, but I am in the, Hilltop is in a cloud right now, so, which it's like this most mornings. Probably not the best place for a vineyard, but it is what it is. Right around this whole tree was engulfed by this vine. Now I can see it up there. Yes, it does have the leaf shot. I can see the holes in the leaves. But I can't see it very well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely holes in the crinkly leaves. Yeah, this needs to come out of here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's hard to move around in here. You can see the two, three, four, five different trunks of grapevines in there. 
get it from the other side. Yeah, here it is. These were never sprayed, and mine have been. So this is the difference. I mean, some of mine look pretty terrible, but not quite as bad as this. So I'm going to have to add that to my list to get rid of these damn vines right here. <sighs> okay, that is one of the tasks for today. Get back down here and spray the entire vineyard with Mancazeb. But I also need to brush whack. Yeah, see the big difference between sprayed leaves and those on the wild plant. I mean, we do have some damage, but I mean, the newer stuff that hasn't been exposed is doing just fine. Definitely got to get in here and spray. So I'm going to spray in here. Then I got to go identify the trees in the Oak Savannah project, which is starting right behind our house. I hope to get in there and kill off some of the invasive stuff and some of the trees that are clogging out the big old oaks. I'm going to do that pretty quick. Okay, that's it for the tour of row E. You can kind of see the fog through there, I think. So, I really can't get in here and spray yet. If, if the moisture is going to continue to collect on the leaves. It'll just wash it away. It'll wash away my spray. And I'm running out of chemicals. I, I haven't bought any yet, this year yet. And the stuff on order hasn't gotten here. So I have to, I have enough for a single spray. So I need to make it, I need to make it work. So I'll revisit this in a week or so and show you what it looks like then. That's it for today. Stop back and see the progress in Road E. Mm -hmm.